I'm Melissa Washburn. I'm an artist and illustrator, and the title of my exhibition is Cabinet of Curiosities. I've been very interested in the natural world for a very long time, and living in Northwest Indiana and having access to the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore and the Indiana Dunes State Park, um, it's rekindled my interest in hiking and learning about all of the birds and insects and other animals that live here. So that's usually what sparks my artwork. Um, I don't approach it like a scientist would. I approach it very much as an artist would. I get interested in, in you know, the, the color on one little butterfly's wing and then I'll learn about that insect's life cycle which will lead me to maybe the plants that inter interacts with and it's just sort of this never-ending rabbit hole generating ideas in my work. Well, the title of the show, Cabinet of Curiosities, comes from a practice that started in Europe during the Re Renaissance, which was the, um, it's called Wunderkammer in German, but there was this sort of rage among the elites of collecting unusual specimens from all over the world. So they would pay, um, wealthy patrons would pay naturalists to go out and collect these things and bring them back. And unfortunately, a lot of it was very environmentally destructive at the time, but it kind of spawned the modern um, practice of, of uh, being a naturalist and, and biology in a lot of ways. It was when people started really paying attention to life cycles of uh, animals and plants, documenting them and um, studying taxonomy and how things were related. So as part of that, I collect a lot of specimens. I collect uh, insects, I collect um, bones and fossils and seashells, and so I've brought some of my own collections and that's part of the show too. So it just kind of shows uh, not only what I use for reference material sometimes, but also just kind of what inspires me and what I collect and have around me in my home and in my studio. I consider all this pretty much mixed media because I do a combination of drawing, uh, ink pen, and watercolor. And part of the reason I started working that way, my background is in oil painting and printmaking, but uh, my main career now is commercial illustration. And so I've started working in a way that uh, is a little more friendly to small format and something that I can scan and work with digitally for my clients. So uh, most of the work in this show is work I've done for myself, but still very much in that uh, mixed media style and method of working. So I think if you can get people past that initial gut reaction and, and show them that there's some really fascinating um, trivia about these things, it, it kind of makes people get past that and go, oh, okay, what else don't I know? Um, one of the paintings in the show is a snake, and it's an eastern king snake, which is a type of common um, non-venomous snake that's pretty common in the, the northeastern United States, and they get very large, so people can initially be terrified of these things, but they eat vermin like uh, mice and rats and um, are completely harmless. So uh, there's, a, there's a whole backstory to that piece, but again, it's something where I want to I want to get people to push past that fear a little bit and understand a little bit about how important all of these creatures are. Well, I think there's a couple of cicadas, um, actually two or three cicadas in the show, and those are really meaningful to me because if you learn about the cicada's life cycle, most species of cicada, um, they hatch and they live as a nymph underground for like 13 to 17 years, depending on the species. And then they emerge and hatch into their adult form um, and only live for a couple weeks. They, may, they lay their eggs and they die. And that to me is just really poignant. It's kind of, uh, you know, I see some symbolism of being a late bloomer, which I kind of was. I, I joke that I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up until I was 40. I've always worked in some aspect of the arts, which is really lovely, but I kind of didn't have um, a career path that I was ready to dig into until I was well into adulthood. And so that kind of late bloomer idea really resonates with me. Thank you so much for visiting this exhibit. It represents work from about the last three or four years of my life and uh, really means a lot to me to see it all together in a collection. You can see more of my work and get in touch with me online at melissawashburn.com. Thank you.